Hey there, it's Sonia again with another Q&A uh, video session. And today I want to talk about um, a very, very common issue that comes up with the vast majority of my clients. So the majority of my clients are women, but this is a universal concept. And that is, how do I create time and space for me in my life? I'm so busy. I can't even tell you how many times I hear that. And so what happens a lot of times is um, I'll meet somebody who resonates with my work, explores uh, coaching with me. They're really excited about it. They connect with the possibilities and they've heard enough success stories from their friends. Um, but time, 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 time is always an issue. So busy, so busy, so busy. And I'm not saying it with that tone to dismiss it um, because it's a very, very real thing. Um, especially with, uh, like I said, women that I work with, moms, wives, girlfriends, professionals, business owners, kids, parents, you know, and, and it just goes on and on. So it's very real. But the thing I want to talk about today is from the soul perspective, where we root ourselves in consciousness creates your reality. Because what most people do when they say, I don't have any time, I don't have any time, I don't have any time, is they start to look at their schedule and they start to look at their commitments and they start to look at all of the things that they have to do. But they don't really address this time and space issue at the level of consciousness. And so what happens is even under the best of circumstances where you look at your calendar and you carve out sacred space and you make schedules and you, you get support and babysitters or whatever you need in the physical realm, the vast majority of the time, it doesn't stick because you're not dealing with the time and space issue at the level of consciousness. So what's happening in consciousness, which is the cause of every effect that you experience, whether it's an inner world effect or an outer world effect, in consciousness, you are still operating from, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough time. I mean, it would be really interesting. You know those clickers at the, you know when people are counting attendance at an event or a store and you see somebody saying they're going click, 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 click. They don't even have to count, they just click and then they look at the end of the day and 100,000 people came through the concert gate. Well, if you were to click your thoughts every time you had a thought or even that visceral feeling of rush, 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 click, 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 not enough time, I'm so busy, not enough time, there's never enough time, never enough time, I got to get there, deadline, deadline, not enough time. I mean, probably a billion times a day. And so your, your consciousness creates, you're going to manifest not enough time, not enough space. And so... While, yes, it is really important to create physical space, scheduled space for you to do the deeper work, okay? If you're having trouble with that, <clears throat> if you can't do that, then let's begin in consciousness by creating space for you in your awareness. So this is how we do it. I invite you to take on the practice of noticing every time you have a thought or a feeling, anything in the vicinity of, I don't have enough time. Okay, I don't care what the thought says. I don't care what the feeling says. When you notice you're feeling rushed, when you feel your body rushing around, and I do that even when I'm not in a rush because I kind of, I just have that built-in mechanism, like got to get here, be efficient, 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 right? So, or not enough time, not enough time, or you look at your schedule and you kind of go, uh, yeah, uh, uh, you know, like those, those reactions. Notice, 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 and become aware. Aware, okay? Now, say yes. Okay. Oh yeah, there it is. Yes. We never say no. Well, you don't need to say no, but no isn't effective because what you resist persists. So say yes, there it is, the not enough time, and I'm willing. So we use the willingness mantra. Yes, and I'm willing to have time expand for me. That's the go-to mantra that I teach everyone. Everyone who uses it loves it. Everyone who uses it reports back, oh my gosh, it really works. Time is opening up for me. Space is opening up for me in all sorts of unexpected ways. It's that 
simple. And I often say about these, <clears throat> the soul-based perspective on life is this stuff is actually super simple. It's not always easy because you're training your awareness. It's also not easy because we are so conditioned to believe that the answers are in our physical world that we will keep bumping our head against the same brick wall and try to fix it, fix it, fix it with uh, an app or a calendar or a time buddy or a this or a that. But in the end, all of that is secondary. Those are all effects of the true cause of everything in your life, which is your consciousness. So if you're willing to be sick and tired of hitting your head against the wall and say, well, I've done that a million times and I still haven't gotten permanent and lasting results. Why don't I take a stab at this consciousness thing? And maybe stab isn't the best word, but why don't I give it a try in this consciousness thing and take on the experiment for one week, just watch where your awareness goes around time and space and notice when you're feeling rushed, notice when you're in lack about time. Ah, there it is. Yes, and I'm willing to have time expand for me. If you want to keep playing with it, here's a couple other mantras that people like. Yes, uh, yes, I have all the time in the world. Yes, I'm willing to have my schedule open up for me in expected and unexpected ways. Yes, and I'm willing to experience joyful space for me. And another thing that is kind of supercharges your, your mantras is better than I ever imagined. Yes, I'm willing to have time expand for me better than I ever imagined. I love better than I ever imagined because what we are able to imagine <clears throat> is bound by the limits of our conditioning. So we may have a vivid imagination, but it only takes us so far. But when you say better than I ever imagined, you welcome in that benevolence, that grace, that abundance of life that's beyond what you have even allowed yourself to conceive of, beyond what you think you're worthy of, beyond what you know is possible. So I invite you to try that on, and I'd love to hear how time and space expands for you. Okay, thanks. Let me know how it goes. All right, bye.